In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use CAD image. Actually, CAD image is, an, is a software on its own and um, it is a software designed by Graphisoft as well. Graphisoft is also a team that designed ArchiCAD software. So Graphisoft actually introduced CAD image to actually promote the quality of the architectural designs done through ArchiCAD. So right now, we're showing you how to apply CAD image on your roofing and what CAD image does to your roofing. This is a ground floor plan of a bungalow I designed and I will show you the roof by clicking F3 or show all in 3D. So this is actually the roof of what ArchiCAD produce. This is actually the roof of what ArchiCAD can produce. And looking at this roof, it is actually not real. It's actually not realistic to a very great percentage yes on a standard roof or on a roof that is to be produced or constructed they usually have to be a coverings and a lot of things that should happen to the roof which we are not seeing here though i think i actually try to produce something like this to act as a roof but yet it is still not real it is still not what i want for my design so this is where actually cut image comes to play so cut image will actually make use of this roof I have produced in my article, but convert it to be more realistic and more professional in my designs. So stay tuned and continue the process. So this is my roof plan produced by Archicad and notwithstanding, let me also add that CAD image is a software again on its own and is actually installed in the ArchiCAD software. If you want to actually know how I install my CAD image to my, in my ArchiCAD software, kindly ask on the comment section and I will actually attend to that question. So, right now, this is where CAD image is in my ArchiCAD software. Whatsoever version you are going to use in ArchiCAD, be it a older version or a newer version, when you, once you install an ArchiCAD software into the CAD image, it comes to play at this point. But if you don't have CAD image in your ArchiCAD software, you won't see CAD image in it. it will, this help will end it after your window will be helped. That is if your CAD image is not installed in your ArchiCAD software. But if it's installed in your ArchiCAD software, you will see it right there. CAD image. Let me also add that CAD image is not actually or only used for roofing. It has a very wide variety of tools what varieties of jobs can do it works on wall frames preset slabs slab and massings which has to do with survey and survey boundaries instructions coverings a lot of things even down to staircase and planting so that image has a lot of wide varieties of tools that makes our designs really really nice really really good really really professional so right now we'll be looking at what card image does to our roofing and what card image can do to our roofing so right now we will be actually be changing this particular roof material to a roof to a roof ties or making use of one of the modern roof ties in our society today on this roof so we'll start by going back to our roof plan which is in our first story i will make use of mark you to highlight all my roof material I'll make use of mark you to highlight this particular plan which constitutes my roof plan so seeing that all that is in this plan is not just roof i can see my concrete facial here and some other things so i'll click on roof i have to click on roof to be able to highlight only just the roof so i've highlighted all the roof in this particular plan why neglecting the concrete facial or whatsoever you call it or the moldings so I, i've actually neglected it just to just just to highlight only the roof now we'll come over to card image coverings once you click on card image you come down to coverings then go to roof coverings this is where you can actually make an effect on your roof you can see slab coverings wall coverings even column coverings but i'm concerned about my roof coverage for this particular video so the roof coverings actually popped out so 
what am I to do now? First of all, it has a lot of um, settings as, as well. So it has cladding, framing, headboard, soffit, flashing, golden and pad down pipes and display options. So in this cladding, it's, telling, it's asking me what particular roofing material do I want? And the dimensions of the roofing material. So once you click here, you are seeing non, flat, corrugate, rebed, shingles, ties, Spanish ties. So this is not based on your choice. What particular thing you want to design and what particular roof materials or model will actually fit into your design. So right now we're using shingles, which is this. This now has to do with dimensions, the cover dimensions, the length and the breadth of the dimensions. And this one has to do with the thickness of the shingle. So this two millimeter thickness is actually very low. So I'll increase it to 35. That is all there. I come about to framing. I don't do actually I don't do anything on this framing options that are actually very perfect. I come about to edge boards. I also don't do any editing on these edge boards settings that are actually okay. I come to soft softens. I also repeat the same thing. I don't do anything right here. I come back to flashing. Now after my cladding next setting I actually come to change the flashing setting which is I change this particular flat square to a ribbed square while maintaining the dimension as it is. I come back to gota and down pipes. Here I change this to colonia. It's at, it's at half round. I change it to colonia. I change it to external. You can actually try any of them. All are actually good. There's no particular one that is, that is wrong. No, this is based on my taste, based on my particular perspective of setting. So you can actually try all that settings by clicking angled or quarter round to see how it works on your design if you actually like it you go ahead with it remember i changed this to colonia and i could change this to external because it was at internal before so it's now at internal and the display option i also do nothing here so i go back to where it started from cladding why i actually go back is actually to make effect on the colors of each and every of the material so you can see over here which actually has to do with the dimensioning of the material you want to use so over here is like a paint brush this paint brush now has to do with the color of each of these materials you actually make a, an editing on or you're actually going to use so i will actually click on the color now remember that the cladding actually has to do with the roofing ties or roofing material that you're using so i actually change this to a, to a black roofing tie so i change it to paint four so i come back to the next one framing I change this to white, paint one is white, paint zero one is white. I come back to edge boards, it's already maintaining white, it's okay. I come back to softening, it's already maintaining white. I come back to flashing. Now this flashing is actually the the, the coverings of the root of the roof edge. Those things that actually cover the roof edge, which which most times in in in, in architecture they usually refer it to king post, queen post, something like that. Those things that actually covers the roof edge that actually cause flashes. So I change it to a black material as well. So paint five is actually okay. Oh paint five is okay. Then the gutter and down pipe I change it also to paint white, paint zero one. That is all I do here and I click OK. You observe that it begins to take process and everything is now set wow this is actually the product of cad image you can see that the the roof plan has actually changed and it is now a completely an accurate professional roof design so neat so sharp so easy and perfect as well so let's open the 3d for the perspective view by right clicking and clicking show in 3d to see how it is in our design Wow, this is a product of card image in our roofing. So you can see how the roof becomes so real. You can see how this is the paint five, this is the paint four, and these are the white material we put. It even has a water collector at, at its edge. So the roof is not, its mouth is not open, and our designs. My design actually look perfect, looks so perfect, so beautiful, professional and 
show the touch of experts in the design so you can actually also try this also in your designs by like making use of that image to make your design as well look so real and perfect okay if you have any question also comment in our comment section you can also like this video share this video also subscribe to the youtube channel see you in the next video